Right, now we get to the alveolus. So the, these are known as the air sacs. Now, the alveolus is where the gaseous exchange takes place. So, um, unfortunately, with this model here, we obviously can't see the alveolus. We've just got the lung. But think about everything that makes up this lung is the alveolus. The small, tiny air sacs. And they've got blood vessels around them. They've got capillaries that are forming around them, okay? And those capillaries carry deoxygenated blood, so blood which is low in oxygen and probably has a high amount of CO2 in it. And what happens is the uh, deoxygenated blood picks up oxygen from the alveoli, okay? Um, and then that oxygenated blood is returned back to the... Uh, the left atrium of the heart and then it goes into the left ventricle and it's pumped to the rest of the body. So every single alveoli will have um, one of these um, uh, will have capillaries which allow that gaseous flow <coughs> to take place and the reason why we have capillaries is because they're one cell thick they, there's not a big distance for gas to move from the capillary into the alveoli. Now one of the other things that you can see, oh, and this is just an interesting point as well, 1500 miles of airways present in the human lungs. Okay, these are just some kind of, almost to kind of just picture how much we've got tightly packed in our lungs. Okay? Um, now we've also got these uh, alveolar pores as well. Now they are important because they release surfactant. And what I'm actually going to do is put on my little dot cam to illustrate the point that I'm going to make. So, if I go here and I get a little bit of water, I'm just going to put a little bit of water onto here. Hopefully, that damages the thing. So, can you see that that's, like, that's formed like a puddle? If it was raining outside, we would see uh, that puddle here as well. Now, on our lungs, we, the alveoli also have water on them, okay? That's why on a cold day when we breathe out, we can see the kind of uh, white smoke. That's the water vapour that we've got in our lungs. So the reason why I'm demonstrating this here is on our alveoli, we've got um, uh, water. Now, the reason that that water is holding together is because when, when you have water reacting with air, which is when I poured that water onto this um, uh, thing here, it reacted with the air and the water molecules started to be held tightly together. They're very highly attractive to each other, okay? And they form um, quite a tight bond, which is why we get puddles, why we get raindrops as well. The water falls together. Now, on the lungs, that contraction of the water, okay, that tight bond of the water molecules squeezes the alveoli, okay? And this is why when it's so easy for us to breathe out because our lungs almost want to recoil or alveoli all... all always want to kind of recoil and contract and that's why it's so we, we have to make an effort to breathe in but to breathe out i don't even have to think about it it's automatic but i need to think about breathing but the breathing out is quite automatic and it's because the water that the water molecules that are on the alveoli are, are kind of contracting the alveoli and making the elastic recoil and this is a property of the lung um, now if you had almost indefinite contraction of the alveoli then obviously that wouldn't be a good uh, situation to be in because the alveoli would collapse so if i go back to the alveoli here so on the surface we've got water and uh, if if the water was to remain and there was no way of actually stopping that water from having that contractual effect the alveoli would just collapse and it would no longer function so what the alveolar pores do is they actually release surfactant okay and surfactant helps to reduce some of the water tension. So the, the, these alveoli are specifically adapted to ensure that we don't have too much contraction of the alveoli. Um, and these are known as the, uh, the pores of cone, so K-O-H-N, um, after the person that discovered them. And so <coughs> they released the factor. And that was the main point that I wanted to make with the alveoli. But these are the, uh, literally in, in the billions in your lung, and they are responsible for the gaseous exchange.